He is uh, the man who is looks like half the man he used to be uh-huh. with all this weight loss. Yeah, mm-hmm. Where'd he go? He is the shirtless wonder. He is the machine. He is Bert Kreischer. Yeah. 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 Bert is here. Yeah. Dude, you look great. Dude, I, I feel phenomenal. I feel great. You I you good. know well, you know, me and you struggle with weight loss back yeah. and forth. I remember when you lost all the weight, and it's just it's fun when you see someone. Yeah, lose remember weight. that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. I remember it. But yeah, it's, but it, it inspires you. And I'm, well, I saw Dave Matthews on stage, and he looked great. And I thought, I want to be like that. I want to feel. I don't want to look like I'm dying on stage. Yeah. And I was a period where I looked like I was dying. <laughs> yeah. Well, you if watched, you ask Reddit, <laughs> uh, Reddit knows. You yeah. watched uh, Tom do it, Tom Segura. Yeah, but he did it on his epic. Now I did it the. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, and then you know I was partying with uh, I was partying with Chappelle one night, and he was like, "You look great," and he's like, "Don't stop." And I went for real because like, you know, every comic is like, "Dude, you, lo- you lo- lose weight, you're gonna you're not gonna be funny anymore." It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire yeah. life. Yeah. Chappelle is like, "I don't know who says that. Don't listen to him." Well, goes, I guess it's like the the fat physical stunt falling down kind of stuff. I don't like, fall down. By the way, here's mm-hmm. the things like, like Chris Farley would yeah. he been as funny? Yeah. Oh, I would. Well, let's. How about this? Wouldn't you love to still have him? Yes. Like, oh. That's it. That's all it is. Yes. Yeah. That's all it is at the end of the day. Would yeah, you love true. to still have him? You know, it's like people, you know. I'm saying his style of, of humor was a, playing a lot of fat guy in a very tiny physical. coat. Yeah, very physical. He could have been mm-hmm. just 300 pounds. Right. Yeah, <laughs> true. Mean, he, was, he was pretty true. big towards the end. And, you know, it's like also lifestyle, it, it represents it in your body. And when, yeah. and when he was partying his hardest, like that last SNL he did, he was really, he was really big. So have you yeah. messed with o- Ozempic or Wagovi or any of those? No, I haven't. I would. I would if yeah. I needed it. See, I'm doing the Wagovi thing. I just not, you know, and I'm not eating crazy. I just kind of feel like maybe it's just not... Uh, I, like I, I want to see like these people taking. who like they go no I'm too skinny now right. yeah no. oh. you know Ooh. yeah yeah like I like I I want to know what that is without really trying like I am cheating by taking the Wagovi I know that it's not cheating it's not, it's not cheating that's like saying it's I'm cheating because I'm taking blood pressure medicine no I'm just trying to live right I'm yeah. just yeah. monitoring yeah. my blood I pressure yeah. I had a doctor tell me one time I'm not going to try to change you it was Rogan's doctor. He was like, I'm not going to try to change you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do your blood work, and I'm going to make sure I can optimize you for the life you live. Yeah. And I went, I love that. Yeah. And did, it, did that work? You. That's how I'm here. Okay, that so makes did sense. You, did you do the whole thing where, because uh, you know who Tony Horton is? Uh, the big the fitness P90 group, P90X, P90X guy? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking... Tim Horton. No, <laughs> yeah, not Tim Horton. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, the oh, like I love his donuts. donuts. The, yes. donuts. the coffee and donut <laughs> guy. Donuts. No, Tony Horton. He, yeah. yeah, he invented P90X. He's the, the big trainer guy. Yeah. All right, well, so like he is on my phone constantly now, and uh, I should put you in touch with him. I think you'd love him. I, I, he, was he the ponytail guy? No, no, no. no. You're yeah, thinking yeah. the guy. That was the oh, gazelle. Oh, the yeah, gazelle yeah. guy. That was the gazelle guy. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Tony Horton's <laughs> way cooler than no. gazelle guy. I love, by the way, I love all those uh, male body influencers. <laughs> Tony Horton's yeah. like 65 years old, and he's the most ripped person oh I think I've ever God. seen in my life. Yeah, he's oh, relentless. Yeah. I'm also on testosterone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah How's yeah, that yeah. work? I love it. You do? <laughs> I love shooting gear. Nice. <laughs> I shoot it in my ass three times a week, yeah. and I feel it. I feel yeah. it rush through my body. The first time I ever took it, I was with you. Really? I started st- the day I started it. I came in and did radio with you, yeah. and I was humming. I was <laughs> humming, and I yeah. was like, I was like, I really feel this stuff. Wow, yeah. weird. Yeah, my wife's yeah. on it too. I'm not allowed to tell anyone that, but she's on it too. Yeah. And it turned her into a Is, whore. Nice. Uh, so she's on on, on, on testosterone. <laughs> she's on. Yeah. yeah, she rubs it behind her legs, behind her knees. Is it making her like clitoris bigger or anything like that? Isn't that what people take like if they're trying to like part of the transition thing? Like, <laughs> well, no, no, I couldn't find get, it like, before. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah, remember, like, I mean, uh, it is a hormone. No, remember uh, who was that wrestler? China. Oh yeah, yeah. China yeah. was on a ton of those steroids, and she had she had a clitoris that looked like a yeah, small penis. But I think steroids and hormones are different. Hormones right? are. Di- it, yeah. it's, I think it's just. I don't know what it is. What I'm taking. I don't know if it's HGH well, or Well, that's what, good. But okay. it's just testosterone. But yeah. I'm so, injecting wow. it. I don't it. know what it is. And it's not yeah. like full gear like Winstrol yeah. and DECA. No, he's but, just on the Berry Bonds. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the Berry on the Bonds. Clear. <laughs> I'm so much stronger than I've ever been. Yeah. I feel great. I yeah. feel amazing. What, so what are you, like, what's your weight right now? What are you down to? Two, I'm 230. Wow. Probably. How's yeah. that? Wow. wow. Uh, it feels insane. Like, <laughs> like I can tie my shoes. Yeah. Like, yeah. I never could tie a shoe. Yeah. And you don't have to do the old... Uh, nice, shirt stretching nice, thing, like yeah. I showed you. I still, you. still do the shirt. Oh, you do? Of course. Well, because you're buying shirts that uh-huh. are not. Yeah. They're not big enough. Yeah. No, what are you ordering? Larges now? No, just XLs. <laughs> but double See. XLs. Double XLs were painful because you you when you put on a double XL, it doesn't look like you just fit in that shirt. They're like, oh, that's a double XL. I can tell by the collar, the shoulder, uh, the sleeves. Yeah. Everything's looser. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You look like, oh, someone just got out of bed. <laughs> yeah. Did you make a vest with all the weight that you lost? Uh, Spartan race. 
Mm-hmm. I, t- I said I was going to run the Spartan race. I couldn't do it. I think I was working or something. Mm-hmm. But they, I said, I'll run the Spartan race with, uh, with my old weight. So they made a 45-pound weight in a backpack, yeah. sent it to oh, me. Oh, wow. Do I put it on for oh, a day? Oh, weird. Uh-huh. You're like, never yeah. mind. I tried to do a burpee, mm-hmm. uh, and it was insane. I was like, wait, I walked around. like my. Yeah. The first thing that started happening was my feet mm-hmm. started hurting. Wow. My yeah. feet. And I was like, oh, my gosh. This is all of that yeah. immediately. But yeah, everything's better. Like, go see, to the that's bathroom. why like, my, yeah. my legs are so ripped. I usually get uh, compliments on like my calves. I got really good calves. That's pretty much all I got. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, and it's good. because I'm I'm hauling my fat ass around all the time. Dude, you got it's superior ev- diamond cutters back yeah. there. <laughs> right, <laughs> very true. It's because every day is leg day. Right? Yeah. I'm hauling yeah. this around. True. I was doing a I was doing a voiceover with Daniel Tosh once. I, I can't remember. I, I remember the guy's name. I'm not gonna say because it it's mean. But okay. the guy that was doing it was skinny. <laughs> yeah, but he had beautiful calves. And I and we were in the booth together, and I kept going, "Your calves are gorgeous." And he goes, "Thank you, thank you." And I was like, "No, like that's insane. How are you not an athlete?" And I'm watching Tosh in the booth, crying, laughing. I go, "No, like his calf, Daniel. I've seen." It. And Daniel has a thing. He goes, "He used to be 460 pounds." And I was oh, like, wow. "Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah, wow." And he's all skinny now. Yes. Well, I think he gained the weight back. Mm. Oh, yeah, okay. You know our struggle. It yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's and I can I I I tell my wife, just tell me when I'm starting to gain it back. Okay. Tell me when I'm starting to get it back. Cause I know I'm gonna. I, I I'm, I'm keto right now, but I've been cheating this week. Ooh, See? that's yeah. the beginning. It's because you get a little. Treat. I know, it's right? That's taste. the thing. That's the beginning, dude. <laughs> yeah, it starts with alcohol. Because then alcohol is like, Come right. on. are Be- you still? You're still drinking though. Yeah, right? I just launched yeah. a vodka. Yeah. Right? No, I knew about that. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah. 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 I quit yeah. drinking to launch a vodka. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Bert Kreischer is here, the machine. You can find him on all social media platforms at Bert Kreischer. Also on his uh, website where you can buy the you know, tickets for all his different shows. The Tops Off World Tour continues. Uh, we're going to talk to Mo- uh, Bert a little bit more about that after the break because uh, that's kind of coming to an end here. And then you're going to be taking some time off. Nine months. I kind of wonder what you're going to do with yourself. But we'll get into that next. As uh, we've been talking about, he's very busy. He's got a lot of different things going on. One of those things, <laughs> first thing uh, Bert said to me when I walked in the studio, he goes, dude, you doing the 5K? Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Sure am. You know we got Jelly Roll doing it. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh, we I did. know. Yeah. Jelly yeah. Roll's down seventy five pounds. Yeah. He looks amazing. Yeah, no, Tim Dillon's doing it. Shane Gillis is doing it. Mark Norman, Louis C.K. is a soft positive. Uh, mm-hmm. Stavi's doing it. Mm-hmm. We got everyone coming out. How come it's always easier when you're famous to lose weight? <laughs> yeah, uh, money. Yeah, money. Money. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, no, it's, it's also is it like more because like you don't necessarily have any more time. No, you. But no, than other people do. Get a personal mm-hmm. trainer. It's mm-hmm. it's a I know, cheat but code. I can, I can get a personal trainer. Get one. I know, but like, mm-hmm. I don't think it'd work. But then no, effort, it will work. You actually work. have to do it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I always joked about, like, uh, that bit about, like, you know, have somebody walk around. You got to be so rich to have somebody walk around and slap the food out of your hand. Yeah, that's an that's Oprah joke, Oprah right? Joke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but was it, it wasn't it even, yeah, but like, who, uh, it wasn't a Kathleen Manigan. I think that was her joke. Maybe. And it got stolen by somebody by a else. A million people. Yeah. yeah. I know who, but I won't say the name. Oh, you yeah, do? I do yeah, too. Of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we all do. Yeah, anyway. But that's what I need. I need something like that. Buddy. There are two things my wife won't tell me how much they cost. My okay. therapist and my trainer. Okay. <laughs> she goes, you don't have to know the price point on that. Just know that they're going to yeah. be there once a week for the therapist. And then every day my trainer shows up at my house at 7 a.m. Yeah. And we work out. And I don't want to. I don't never want to. Yeah. You seem like you want to. That's the thing. I was like, where does he get this, uh, this uh, motivation? It's uh, punitive. I wake up. Uh, mad at myself that I partied the night before, yeah. and I go, "Come on, you wanted you wanted to get after it last night." Then we get to the gym this morning. I did not want to work out. Yeah. I got on the treadmill. I ran a five k, very slow, and <laughs> but I did it. Yeah. I did it. And then my trainer, because I had such a busy day, she didn't come in today. But that's the the, the problem is, and people comment on this on Instagram. They're like, "Show me a fitness influencer who has a job." Yeah. All these fitness yeah. all they That's do is yeah. all they do is yeah. work out That's and tell true. you how to live job. your life. You're like, no, no, no. <laughs> Show me someone yeah. that wakes up and has to pack their own lunch. Right. That's why mm-hmm. I love dudes like Cam Haynes because he mm-hmm. works yeah. 40, 50 hours a week and also runs half a marathon every single day. Well, uh, so the uh, the 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 Two Bears 5K that's coming up on the seventh. That was a pipe dream. That's Tuesday, May seventh, mm-hmm. nine a.m. There at the Rose Bowl. Uh, there's also going to be post race food, drinks, partying, entertainment. It'll be a <laughs> nice. big party. We're going to have Jelly Roll out there. If you don't think I'm going to make him come up and sing his hits, <laughs> yeah. you're out of your yeah. mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get Teddy Swims out there. Yeah. I'm getting yeah. everyone out there. Nice. We've got. I mean, I don't want to tell you all the people committed because some of them are really famous. Yeah. And but they are some of the best musicians in the world. Okay. And we will have a big party. We'll have all the greatest comics all messing around on stage. Yeah. It's going to be an event. It will be a real. 
big event. My favorite thing about running these races is the post party, not the race, the post party. Your endorphins yeah, are okay. kicked in. Yeah. You're in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. You've earned that cold vodka. Mm -hmm. And I am telling you, whatever, whoever's got shows that night, they're going to suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just go to the number two, Bears5, so the number five, K.com. So two Bears5K.com for you tickets and more time. You still have time to train. You, and, yes. by the way, train. and by the way, mm -hmm. Shane Gillis and Tim Dillon are doing it. So if you want to slow walk with them, okay, there's going to be it's it's. Inclusive. Are you running, running? Uh, I will be running, but I'm going to run and enjoy it. I'm not going to. I was going to try to run for time, yeah. But I want to run and enjoy it and hang with the yeah. fans, hang with other comics. I want to yeah. laugh. Like the funnest, the hardest I ever laughed. I, you know, I was running a half a marathon with uh, Jim Florentine, and we were talking about concu <laughs> concussions. And yeah. he said, "Have you ever had a concussion?" And I said, you "Yeah, I had one concussion." I go, "I had yeah. one so bad." Uh, I, the priests had to check my testicles every 30 minutes. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true, it's, I was being dead serious. And he stopped running, and he started laughing. And I said, what? And he goes, buddy, I think you were molested. Yeah. Right. I said, what? And he goes, they don't need to check your testicles. Yeah. I never thought this through. And he's like, for a concussion, that's like the last. I thought that was yeah. concussion protocol. Yeah. And he was like, no, we laughed so hard doing this 12K. <laughs> so I go, oh, my God, I guess I was. Yeah. Yeah. Holy oh cow, like God. I'm by a lot of priests. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we laughed so hard. Then Jim Florentine left the tw the half marathon, went into a Hilton, had breakfast, took a dump, and then crossed the thing and finished in the top five for his age what? group. Oh, wow. Yeah, he didn't run the whole thing. He cheated. Huh. Oh, my God. Oh, good yeah. for him. TwoBears5K.com if you want to sign up again. That's Tuesday, May 7th. Sounds like it's going to be a major party. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a blast. Bert Kreischer is here. Yes. Yep. The machine. All right. So I've been torn all over the place. So you, got, uh, you got the Tops Off World Tour, which I... I see. I don't know how you're doing the schedule, man, because you're constantly on the move. It's nonstop. Yeah, I tried to get a hold of him uh, when you were doing the Zin thing. Yeah, oh, um, I, reached, I reached out to Bert. I was like, dude, because <laughs> you can't get flavored Zins. <laughs> oh, right. I can get them for you. I'll bring them back. Oh, I know you can. <laughs> I get the good ones in Nashville. Well, we yeah. did the Zin thing because I've been listening to uh, Two Bears One Cave, your podcast with Tom Segura, and you guys talk about Zins all the time, and then you also talk about. Like Lucy, and then like some European stuff. Rogue, Zimeo, yeah. yeah. there's yeah. a bunch of them. Hulu, and, Netflix. And you, you talk about how it makes you feel. I'm like, how could this? Oh. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way that yeah. this will have this so much medicine, effect. So medicine, medicine great yeah. tried it, but it was just like the the plain ones. Like, These are good. Yeah. I'm, I'm on classic right now. Uh -huh. the, yeah, that's good. what I tried. It's almost like God taps you on the shoulder and goes, "I'll take it from here." Really? Because <laughs> I had the the worst Menace experience. I it. started with the six milligram. Okay, don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the the number one. Like, it's like you, going, you got to smoke heroin first. <laughs> like, you don't. Sh <laughs> no one shoots it up their first time. <laughs> and then a listener goes, "You got to do an upper decker." I'm like, "Okay, oh my gosh, you can't go." Upper decker. <laughs> what? That's like when Greek chicks go. You can just we can we can't have regular sex, but you know what we can do to stay a virgin. Right. <laughs> so then I like okay, for the like two minutes I felt like kind of like the feeling I have when I smoke indica, right? And then I just instantly and you talk about this too. I like I feel like I want to crap my pants. Yeah. I start sweating like crazy yeah. and I wanted to puke. Yeah, heart, he, it's, he a was in, it's a stimulant. It's a stimulant. He was in bad, bad shape. Your heart bad. races. You think faster. You think cleaner. You think clearer. It's great. It's a great thing in the morning with a coffee. Yeah. Have a little morning gratitude. Oh. oh, it's the best. I have two in right now. <laughs> two. Oh, it helps me think faster. Dude, yeah. I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I hear you talk about what you're saying right now on the podcast. And when I had that that one, dude, I was on the ground. It and I mess. felt hung over then. Yeah, after yeah. That. yeah. Well, you feel like, uh, like uh, crap after when you take it out you're mm -hmm. like got to go uh, sit in a corner and you got to keep it going evaluate your life yeah. well oh, that's wow. the i got friends who keep them in all day long mm. all day oh, long weird. i can't do that and one will last you all day long no 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 they just oh, keep, okay. keep, keep swapping putting, yeah, yeah keep yeah. swapping see my body is made up of about 50 percent nicotine and mm. i could barely handle it put a three in right now. I, I could <laughs> barely <laughs> handle three it right. don't be a pussy see, that's why he has two in because he has a three now should i upper decker nope no greg just try a three banger there's a three and just put it right here just a three and let it let it let it seep let into it your do system. its magic right. and you don't need to spit with these right no we'll swallow it yeah, no that, see that's the of course. that's the benefit you don't have to spit or yeah okay. put i on a plane. already feel this heat so burke <laughs> oh. kreischer between the uh, the tops off world tour and of course the netflix is a joke comedy festival uh gonna be doing a show at the kia forum in inglewood on saturday may the 11th and then uh let's talk about the the new vodka so it's it's called Por Osos, and you guys are uh, teamed up on this, you and uh, Tom. And so this just kind of like you, somebody came to you and said, what a brilliant idea, though. You got to figure that, that guy got a raise. Right? 
Mm-hmm. Like whoever that was from whatever yeah. it was Bert department. Whatever partner no, that it was you were Bert. Really? Bert. <laughs> yeah, it was Bert. Okay. Like, listen, I had I had liquor companies coming to me a lot. Yeah. Obviously. That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. And at one point it got pretty real and I and I felt dirty not including Tom. So I know that if Tom I'm really sensitive. Yeah. And if Tom had started a liquor without bringing me in, it would hurt my feelings. Okay. Yeah. So I reached out to him. Mm-hmm. Tom's a lot smarter than I am. And he was like, why would we just white label it? Why wouldn't we start our own? See, mm-hmm. I've gotten to a place where no one says no to my ideas. So mm-hmm. like, That's which is awesome. really, oh, yeah. great. I'm doing, I have a 5K yeah. May 11th. Yeah. Right. May, May, yeah. 5th, May 5th. <laughs> yeah. Like every idea I have, I have a Top Soft World Tour. I have my tour. I've got a movie. I've got like everything. Mm-hmm. So like, and Tom's like, let's do it. If we're going to do it right, we're going to invest our own money. We'll start a company. We'll... And it took 18 months to come up with this vodka. Oh. But to, that's all Tom's thumbprint is we will do it from the ground up. We will find the right distiller. We will find the right blend. I love that. Yeah, and so we did it. We designed the bottle. We designed the cap. We designed everything, the color, everything about it. And then I was really aggressive with the taste of it. I will tell you, listen, you ever meet a guy who like really loves his wife? Yes, and, like, and you're like, and you're like, well, what's up with that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy who's got the "I yeah. heart my wife" bumper sticker, oh, and he always guy. and and people will talk about hot chicks. He's like, nothing like my wife, huh? Right. Yeah. And you're like, what is wrong? With that guy? <laughs> That's how I feel about my yeah. vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's so good. Yeah. It's all I drink. It's all I drink. My recovery's mm-hmm. through the roof. Uh-huh. I'm not drinking a ton of it, but I, I will take like I'll have two drinks at the end of the night. Hit a vape pen, and my recovery's through the roof. Heart rate is in the 60s. Sleeping, I, I have a great sleep score. Really clean. It's it's we've got a proprietary distillership, so like we have the rights of it for six years. So it is super clean. They triple distill it, mm-hmm. and it is like awesome. who do you go for something mm-hmm. like that? Like if you're going to build it from the ground up, like you got to find like a guy in an alley somewhere who like we got, no, knows how to you make go to vodka. somebody that knows how to do it. Obviously, yeah. We had, we had, we but got, to do it to scale though, we took, we teamed up mm-hmm. with this great company, Drip. They they launched uh, Mr. Beast bars. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. See, so, that's doing okay. Yeah. So they know what they're doing yeah. with like launching brands. Okay. And so mm-hmm. they went to them. We brought in a bunch. Of, we started with whiskey. Tom and I were like, eh, everyone's got whiskey. Whiskey is a hard mm-hmm. sell, in my opinion, because I already know the whiskeys I love. Yeah. Like, it's like selling a car. Oh, like, okay. I know what I want to buy. Yeah. Like, you're not mm-hmm. going to tell me what to buy. Gin, I'm like, who drinks gin but women? Ugh, yeah. Like, it's yeah. like, yeah, you know, I'm, what am I playing the back nine? <laughs> 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 gin and tonic. Yeah. Tom's like, gin would be so cool. I think tequila's mm-hmm. littered. Everyone's got a tequila. Yeah. yeah. But vodka is this like undiscovered territory where I feel like if you do it right, you can really hit it out of the park. Yeah. And definitely. I love, I love vodka. I've been drinking vodka. Mostly for weight loss, my for the past ten years, and so and I I would say I put Tito's on the map. I mean I I talked about Tito's yeah. everywhere, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so we we tasted one and I found the I, we tasted like nineteen different vodkas and Tom Rough and I gig. Tom and I landed on the exact same two, and nice. then and then and then I knew which one I wanted. I want a vodka. I don't want a vodka that grabs your shirt and pulls you over to tell your story. I want a vodka that whispers and. It her lips gently touch your ear, <laughs> and you go, "Whoa, something Hell happened!" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is good. And that's my vodka. <laughs> nice. It it gently lips caress. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay, now just so you know, that microphone that you're using right I, now I, is, is typically the one that Menace uses. I don't know yeah. if I put my mouth that close. Yeah. Low well, close. We're so, good. Uh, yeah. Luckily, my lips are distilled by my vodka. Yeah, yeah. 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 it burns so, it off. So can you, can you not drink uh, any other? Like, what's the deal? Like, you can't drink any other stuff. No, I can't. Uh, because I, you have your own vodka. I, I probably. I, I will have I have Jack not on. vodka but like if you, like you want tequila like are you gonna have a tequila if I have a tequila I'll probably drink, drink the rocks tequila yeah I like Terramana I do enjoy it uh, I don't drink a lot of tequila because I need to cut it with lime and lime gives me acid reflux mm. uh, yeah uh, when I get on a plane it's the same drink every time double Jack on the rocks lots of rocks every time I have mm. two of those then I go to IPAs. It's a sneaky way to get hammered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah. they're you know they're they're clocking you. Yeah, it's always yeah. a young girl going. You're drinking like my dad. I didn't like my dad. Well, yeah. por osos no. means for the bears in yeah. Spanish. P o r o s o s is how it's spelled. And like your uh, your goal is what have a nationwide. My like, goal is to by be, this time next to be year a billionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. No, I want to get out of this vodka yeah. as soon as possible and just drink it. Yeah, like yeah. it is, mm-hmm. it is an uphill sell when you're launching a company like this. Mm-hmm. Like I leave today to fly to Austin to do a bottle signing, right. and and like it, those things are always there. Yeah. So if you're listening mm-hmm. in Austin on uh, 101X, hey, Bert's coming your way with Tom. You guys are both doing it, right? Yeah, Tom mm-hmm. and I, and Tom, the best is. I've turned him into an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. Tom's not fun. Like, yeah, have you ever yeah. met him? Yeah. No, I no, haven't. But it's I listen because he's not the, fun. It's I listen to the fun. podcast, yeah. yeah. Um, he's a drip. But uh, <laughs> the guys are going to be a total wine from 5 to 7 p.m. on, uh, well, that's later on today. Today, yeah. yeah. Later on yeah, today. Yeah. So we fly out to do that, and then 
you know, then you bring, I don't, I don't bring it with me everywhere because I don't want to over, I like, I still, I do stand up is what I really do. Right. And we have a great team around us that helps promote it. We went online to sell online to California and Florida and it sold out in under an hour. Yeah, I saw that nice. on your Instagram. Yeah. yeah, it's just the distribution part is the hardest part. Just yeah. getting it everywhere. Yeah. That's it. Well, Bert Kreischer is here. And uh, so he's always got like this weird, I, I, what I tell you recently on a, on a text message is like, oh, you're like, dude, I went and watched the eclipse with Dave Chappelle yesterday. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, your life is so crazy, just unpredictable, like awesome. It's just like, I know. it's fun. random mm-hmm. and fun mm-hmm. all the time. I, you know, I got, well, first of all, I love life. So like, that's the big thing is I do love life. Yeah. I get out of bed and I like living life. Yeah. I feel very lucky to be here. So like, if cool stuff shows up, I'm in it. Like I'm in it. Mm-hmm. I want to be there. I have FOMO mm-hmm. too. So like when I got Chappelle, I was with Chappelle. We were partying. I, this is the best thing about Chappelle is like text me. I'm at, I happen to be in Dayton. He's like, you partying? And I wasn't at the time. I was like, of course I am. Right. Yeah. 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 Of course I am. Yeah. By the way, I will never share what we talked about, but I will simply tell you Dave Chappelle is the greatest individual that's ever lived in my entire life. Wow. The most generous, sweetest. Does Tom know you said that? Oh, I would mm-hmm. trade... I trade half a Chappelle for ten toms in a second. <laughs> <laughs> my God, really? Oh, uh, in yeah. a second! Oh my in God, in a second! I, I yeah. say to these guys all the time. I'm like, I'm so jealous of your relationship with Tom. Like, I, I wish I had somebody like that in my you life. You and Tom would probably get along because you guys are both business guys. Yeah, you guys, we're, you guys we're would... both drips, is what you're saying? <laughs> well, you no. just said you said two seconds ago. <laughs> no, drip. but Tom's like it. you. Tom's like you. Yeah. If he goes to a big event, he'll lock down a corner. Have a nice dinner. Yeah. Maybe say hi to a couple people. Then go enjoy the event. I'm all over with my shirt off going, right, he's yeah. famous. Yeah. I want to meet him. Right. You know? <laughs> I'm a lunatic. Yeah. I'm a lunatic. Yeah. And so Chappelle, we were partying and he was like, uh, I want you to come do my club. And I was like, I knew the eclipse was going to be flying over his house. Yeah. So I was like, done. <laughs> uh, April 8th. And he was like, the eclipse is there. And I was like, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Buddy, it was one. It, I, it was, first of all, it was magical. It was magical. Mm-hmm. It was uh, ever the greatest people there. Burr's there. I got to hang out with Burr yeah. for like a legit minute, yeah. like and talk. We haven't talked in a while, right. and just hang out and catch up with Burr. Don, Dave uh, Donnell Rollins was there. Chappelle's got the, like this list of like the of all these famous people that are just. And I'm saying those mm-hmm. guys are my friends, but yeah. famous people you shouldn't see. Yeah. And then the eclipse happens, and everyone takes their glasses off, and you're staring. All the birds go to sleep. The crickets come out. Right, right, right. Everyone thinks it's dark time. There's a sunset around the world. So it was. I mean, I'm getting chill bumps. I got high. <laughs> I got, got high. high. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. high, and then uh, <laughs> went and did his club. His club is spectacular. I mean, total freedom. Yeah, total freedom. And Chappelle's watching you, so he's like giving you. Oh, it's the best, the best. But yeah, I like to live life, so I like to do cool stuff. So when we talk about taking nine months off, I go. So what do I do? Do I like sail to Hawaii? Like, yeah. What, what's the fun thing to do? Because I don't want to just sit in my. Or you're going to frat parties now. I heard about that, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the recap of that was crazy. <laughs> it was so wild. We're at University of Tennessee. We're just walking around, and uh, this kid goes, yo, we got a frat party tonight. I was like, really? He's like, you should show up. And I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll. You get back to the green room, get done the show. I say to the group, should we roll through? And Cypher Sounds is like, we'll do a lap. <laughs> so we show up to a frat party. And it's like 500 kids. They've got a legit DJ. And they're like, will you get on stage? I was like, buddy, are you reading my mind? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't ask me to take my shirt off. It's already coming off. <laughs> and we, I don't use this word often, but turned up. Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> we had the wildest. These kids were losing their minds. Yeah. And then, of course, on stage, I get into the pit. We start dancing. Mm-hmm. It's the greatest time. We spent one hour there, got wasted. My tour bus pulls up to a frat party. And I'm like, I'm out. The place is like, yeah. <laughs> I was trembling on that tour bus. Yeah. I stole those children's yeah. youth. I was, it was like taking nine well, you, shots of testosterone. You said you f- uh, fed off their energy. You oh, know? yeah. Dude, youthful energy, mm-hmm. they don't think about life the way we do. Like, I wake up, I think about death, I think about how short life is, yep. I say my gratitudes, I work out. These kids don't realize death is real. Yeah. <laughs> they are hitting vape pen. Sign my vape yeah. pen. You're like, you shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> I mean, it was wild. It was yeah. wild. Then you see like these, there's like, you know, I'm 51. I'm also a dad. So like I gave a couple very inspirational speeches. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The ones we edited out is when I turned into dad mode. Because these young girls are, I know. are like doing, a, I love you. I love, take your shirt mm-hmm. off. Come dance with me. And I'm like, no. And then I start right. on with, listen, 
Call your parents tomorrow morning. Tell them that you love them. <laughs> right. No pills, no powder. Yeah. No pills, no yeah. powder. I'm like, I love you guys. I'm just talking to my daughter, Georgia, yeah, yeah. hoping she's in the audience somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up early, do your homework. Enjoy the outdoors. Go have a picnic. <laughs> Only so do mushrooms, but just take out. It's so good. <laughs> The, the other thing with your nine months <laughs> off, you did share one time that you want to fly to India with no plans, yes. nothing, mm -hmm. and with no help, and just land there and then figure it out. But you said it's just to prove to yourself that you can do stuff on your own. I got right? to, Yeah, I've gotten to a place where I have like a team around me. I don't do anything by myself. Yeah. I didn't even pick mm -hmm. this outfit out. God, that's a dream. It is it is a dream, but it yeah. becomes like golden handcuffs of where you get to. Like I had to fly to uh, do Shaq's podcast in, mm -hmm. uh, in Atlanta. A right off tour. I was really excited. And Pete was like, yo, I'm going to go home for a day. You should be able to get yourself there. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. and, then it, and then I started panicking. And I was like, well, hold on. Who's going to who's gonna pack my bag? Wait, who, are, <laughs> pack do I have all my pills set up? <laughs> yeah. like, do I need my pills? Yeah. Yeah. my testosterone in the bag? Yeah, yeah. Like, hold on. And so I had to have people meet me because I, I started panicking. I would like to fly to <laughs> India, build a tad bit of intrinsic value, and prove to myself that I am an individual who can succeed as an individual. Because you just get so easy in this, and like, but don't you know that you that you can because you have? I have in the past. Like, like yeah, it may, maybe your mm -hmm. your life has changed. Like, you know, we were all broke and had nothing at one point, right? Like, and then okay, you you find success and you get money, nope. and then you're able to buy <laughs> something. Right, I got you. But you know that you know should push come to shove. God forbid, never happens. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you would be able to survive with a lot less than what you have today. I can. I could. Well, yeah. That's not. The, that's not the point. Here's the point, okay? You have good sex with your wife, right? Sure. Me too. I have good sex with my wife. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wouldn't it yeah. be cool just one time, take it on the road, see if you can perform with a stranger? <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm not saying I want to do it, but yeah. wouldn't it be yeah. cool just yeah. to go back to that 18-year-old, 22-year-old you yeah. who was like I know what you're nervous saying. and sweaty yeah. palms right, and, right. and, oh, wait, we have to wear a condom? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. like wouldn't that just, and that's how I think well, about it. Well, because you're never going to get that feeling again. No, yeah. You're never no. going to have that, like, that butterfly of excitement or, like, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's, yeah. it's not that it's not great or, you know, that you don't yeah. like your life or your relationship. I know what you're talking about. This, that so makes that, sense. That's what I, I want a little bit of that in my life of, like, experiencing being fish out of water as right. opposed mm -hmm. to, like, a fish in a, in a pod well, you'll it, certainly stand out in India. Uh, I've had so many people tell me not to go. So many people mm -hmm. are like, just don't go to India. Mm -hmm. But I think India is like that that white whale of like, like I'm going to Dubai. I'm doing a show in Dubai, but I'll have a bunch of people with me. Yeah. So maybe mm -hmm. I'll fly that first one off to India by myself and then meet everyone in Dubai. <laughs> Come back totally different. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like a cereal. Oh, yeah. Right, 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 nice. you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, there's a lot of do things it. I want to do. Yeah. I, wanna, I would love to be uh, lost at sea. I would mm -hmm. love to be like I listen to like um, survival podcasts. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. I would love to. I one time I fell off a waterfall, and I had to crawl out of a ravine, two hundred and ten feet vertical, by myself. And mm -hmm. I, I don't ever want that again. But no. When I think about that moment, <laughs> when I think about there's a real moment in life where you say, "Hey, am I gonna live?" Like there, where you wow. And when you get past it, you go, "Oh wait." I can overcome things that I didn't think I could overcome. This business is one of them, honestly. Yeah. When yeah. I moved out here, I didn't. The idea that I'd be coming it, to this area and and being allowed in a building was insane mm -hmm. to me. The fact that I would go to a restaurant and anyone would know me was crazy. I didn't. Right. I, I didn't understand the fact that I'd own a house. Do you remember? Do you guys remember what an up when you'd go to people's houses when you were young in this city and they mm -hmm. owned it and you were like. How do you own a right. house? Yeah. Right. And then once you get there, you're like, okay, I get it. I get it. I yeah. get it. I still want those things in life. You know, having kids, like now that I have like two kids that are almost grown, mm -hmm. I want, I want to, I would love to just, I don't know, not start over again. Oh, I don't want to start over. I don't want to start over. <laughs> no. <laughs> give it to, give me a kid at like four. Yeah. Yeah. I could four. Take, yeah, I'd fi if I found a four year old, I'd be like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> a boy, too. A boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Big shoulders, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, buddy, yeah. we're going to get you in baseball. <laughs> I'm going to do this one right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Bert Kreischer is here at Bert Kreischer on all the social media platforms. Bert, Bert, Bert dot com. Uh, yeah. He's got his uh, his tours, which, uh, like we said, I, I still want to know what you're going to do. Maybe you're going to go to India after mm -hmm. it all wraps yeah. up. I still want to ask you that question, like, because. Well, I have questions. Okay. More with Bert next year on The Woody Show. We'll be here for another 20 minutes. We'll be right back. Greg, do you still have that Zen in? I do. How's it going? It's, it, 
I don't know if I'm... You definitely look like you have it in. Right. You look like a person who has a uh, cocktail on the beach, and you go, you're holding your drink a little too preciously. <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice? You can tell yeah. who's drinking on a beach because they don't put their drink down. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, no, yeah. like that's the key. <laughs> yeah. That's what cops are looking for, a guy who won't put his drink down. <laughs> yeah. Just no one holds us Diet Coke the whole time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> or, how, or how about the uh, the guy that goes into the ocean? He's, he's oh, yeah. The yeah. Waist, I'm like, this is not enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're constantly this. It's like, fuck, you... just drink it and then get in the water or something. Yeah. Pepper. Spice. Yeah. yeah. It's good. But, uh. Bert Kreischer is here. Yeah. Of course, uh, the Netflix is a joke comedy festival. It's going to be at the Forum on Saturday the 11th, and we have uh, tickets for that. That's all this week. I mean, across uh, all the different shows here on All 98.7, but, uh, man, we just mm-hmm. gave away a bunch the other day, and then we got some more today. Of course, because Bert's here. We're giving mm-hmm. away tickets uh, to your own show Please. while you're here. So, uh, And also, like we have uh, the tickets for... Uh, Tom Segura, that's going to be at the Forum May 9th. We got uh, Seth Rogen, Kevin Hart, Bill Burr. So many great comics are going to be part of the Netflix is a Joke comedy special or comedy uh, festival. There right. we go. And then, of course, uh, Bert's going to be shooting his... Uh, his. Where are you shooting the, the Netflix special at? I'm, I'm shooting at the Mahaffey in Tampa. Oh, in Tampa. Can, can, so I, tell you what's, can I tell you what's great about Netflix is a Joke festival? People sleep... Because we live here, we sleep on what great talent we get. Yeah. This is a time to show how much great talent lives in this city, yeah. thrives in this city, and really come out and celebrate L.A. Celebrate L.A., ce- celebrate Southern California, see as many shows as possible. There are so many, the best comics in the world are coming here. Yeah. Everyone's bragging about their damn city. Austin's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. L.A. created it. L.A. created comedy. Come out, support all the shows at the store, at the Laugh Factory, at the the knitting, at all the best places, go see, and I'll be there May 11th. Yeah, this is uh, one of those things that we, we, we joke about all the time. Like, every city says they're a great food city. Right, and now they right. all are. And now yeah. we really are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We are the best food city in the world. You get Show me, you know what they call Korean barbecue in, in Austin? Chinese food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have Korean barbecue. Yeah. You can go in there and get yeah. smoke inhalation yeah. in an indoor venue Hell with yeah. no one speaking English. Yeah. They use scissors to cut the meat. All it's you can so eat. good. All you can eat, too. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's so good. Okay, yeah, because you're on you're on the road uh, a ton. I mean, so like what are what are some of the other things that you miss about Southern California when you're not here? Uh Mexicans. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. but you know, I, I I had the most beautiful moment. I took in, my daughter. In, in what way? Just <laughs> you the, can't just say Mexicans and leave. In, it. In, uh, so, <laughs> so there's a way that a a, a Mexican dude. I always say dude because it's not the women, uh-huh. but celebrate you. Yeah. It's really, it really is. It's I don't know if it's a cultural thing, but you don't. It doesn't happen. Big white guys in Iowa, they recognize you. They're sweaty. They're yeah. like, Oh, come here. You got to get a picture of me. Come here. Take your shirt off. Dude, yeah. I brought my daughters to opening day Dodger Stadium, and my daughter does not live here. She goes to college somewhere else. And my daughter said to me, I forgot how cool L.A. is. Mm-hmm. I said, what do you mean? She goes, Dad, I haven't really been around Mexicans that much. And this is like, I feel like I'm home. Yeah. I thought that was so mm-hmm. cool for a little white girl to come home <laughs> to a Dodgers and be and see all yeah. these big Mexican guys in the jerseys, having cold beers, the micheladas. Yeah. And she's yeah. like, I'm home. And as soon as she said that, this dude just comes up, daps me up, and he's like, yeah. dog, dog, and yeah. just hugs me. And you're like, oh. yeah, that's, that's like my our, town. That's like yeah. our fiesta, man. For dude, sure. Yeah. You know? we, have, we have the best culture in the city. It's so broad. And, they, and you forget that you don't get that everywhere. You don't get it in Ohio. You just yeah. don't, you know? Well, it's great to have you in town. Yeah. We, we can't, uh, you know what? Here, California sucks for flavored tobacco products. <laughs> yeah. They or nicotine everything. products. Or like homeless. We got a few hiccups. We got a few hiccups. A couple prices. things. Yeah. Yeah. Couple yeah. Things. Yeah. 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 Our traffic's not the best. Yeah. Yeah. Road rage is kind of out of control. Yeah. Yeah. There's some parts of the city you don't want to drive into. I mean, cost yeah. of living sucks. Yeah. Cost yeah. of living yeah. sucks. Yeah. We're all we're all, we're all all broken, technically. Listen, it stinks. There's always a woman hotter than your wife walking down the street. You don't find that in Iowa. You don't find that. You have the dime. Out here, you're like, honey, you need some work done. Yeah. <laughs> Bert Kreischer, the machine. Yeah. He's here. Uh, so, okay, I, I got to get to this right away because I keep I keep forgetting to ask you. So, I think a lot about like my future yeah. when I'm done doing this, and I think, man, what the hell am I going to do? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, what I, is that something I would truly enjoy, or am I just going to work till I die, just because I got nothing else to do? Now, when you're going to take all this time, here's a guy, and I'm just saying, for you guys, you know, we all know Bert, and you watch him on social media, we watch you. You're everywhere, constantly. And now you're planning to take nine months yeah. to do what? Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? I don't know. I think yeah. live, I want to live like other people do. I want to live, so, so much of my life, I hope this isn't too deep dive. 
so much of my life is performative. Yeah. Meaning, meaning, I, I got gotcha. the, I got the polar plunge this morning. First thing I do is I pull out my phone to record it, mm. and then mm. I go, hold on, am I getting in the polar plunge for them or for me? Mm. Right. I, so much of my life is performative that I think I get lost in the idea of. I saw you sitting on your Instagram the other day. You're like, you have this nice, it's like a Saturday or whatever it is. You're on the back porch with yeah. uh, your wife's out there. You, know, you got the pool in the background. And like, there's other people there to have a conversation with, but like, you're having a conversation with your fans. Yeah. You know, that, that makes sense. Like, every time you uh, mm-hmm. are doing anything, you feel the need to share it. Yeah. And, I, and I, I think in that nine months, I'd like to see if I could get back to some more intrinsic value of like, am I doing this for me or am I doing it for. Views and if you take nine months off, you have nothing to promote. Yeah, I have so many things to promote right now that I feel like I'm lost in promotion. Mm-hmm. Where I'm just like the vodka, the five k, the summer tour, the uh, the new special, right. the uh, the show at the forum. The I, I have so much stuff to pro- right. to promote that I do get lost in this. Like, who am I? What am I doing? Like, I'd love to just sit mm-hmm. down. It, I get really depressed when I stop working. I get really depressed. See, that's what I would worry about. Because I, I feel like just thinking about it sometimes puts me in that funk. Dude. You know, just even thinking about it. This is why. So, like, I, I you yeah. and I, I think, are are similar in a lot of ways. Very different mm-hmm. in, in other ways, but, like, very similar in this kind of way where uh, we can mind F ourselves very, very quickly. Oh, especially yeah. with know? Instagram because you start seeing people doing big things. Yeah. You forget that you've done big things. I guess, yeah. I, I guess yeah. my point with you is, like, I think... Because I would be the same. I think you would need a plan. Like, okay, this is I'm going to yes. do stuff just for me, and I'm not going to I'm not going to even bring my phone <sighs> in that particular case. Like, I, I'm, you're going to go somewhere, you're going to do something. You could tell people about it later, but you're not even going to bring your phone. It would be cool to have something done where I could go on any radio show, and they had not seen it, heard it, or lived it with me. Yeah, you know, like that would be right. cool. Yeah. Like even when you hang out with Chappelle, it's like no phones. You don't have phones out. Right, and. Mm-hmm. I said to him, he asked me, he's like, did you have a good time today? And I said, the only way I can quantify it to you, Dave, and you won't understand this, is I thought about pulling my phone out 15 times. Mm-hmm. That's when I know I'm having a good time, is yeah. I go, oh my God, I'm here with Talib Kweli, and we're talking about poetry, <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and, and set up of words, and why he likes a certain, and I'm like, all these moments I think to pull my phone mm-hmm. out. I would love to get away from that for a period of time, and get grounded, tad bit grounded. And so we'll see, but once again, if I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say to Hawaii, why would I not bring a film? I know. Oh, Come yeah. That's a, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah right about right. it. Did you hear about that? Bert wants to sail yeah. from L.A. to Hawaii. Yeah. 18 days. It takes 18 days. Yeah. And you want to talk about being small. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 That sounds so scary. The ocean so is scary. mad big. Yeah. My, my, my wife's like, start with the Bahamas. No, you couldn't, <laughs> like, you couldn't do that on your own. No, I'd have to. Well, no. I've already... I've already <laughs> You have to hire a group. I am such a phony. I've already reached out to like all these top sailors. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! And then all still them be are... fun to go. Though. That'd be cool. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I would it would love... be terrifying. No way. I'd what if there's so a much storm? Dramamine. What if there's well, a storm? Yeah, there, no, what if? there will be a storm. And then what do you do when there's a storm? I think you just you, like, you let, a lot. Yeah. I mean, you that let, is you, frightening. AM. You let the top-notch sailor guy handle that crap. Oh, you're man. you're in your room down below. I'm making sure we're not going to run out of vodka. Yeah, yeah. So scary. <laughs> but uh, when strap you... me to the post like like <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> when you were getting deep just a moment ago, I was thinking, I'm like, that's why I think you and Woody should do ayahuasca together. No, I can't. Do it. I can't. You talk about it I don't even know exactly lot, what it is. Uh, what? No one does technically. Yeah. Right. Does <laughs> anyone, do where's it come from? It's like a tea. Has anyone right? tested potion. it and goes, yeah. this is good ayahuasca? <laughs> like, where's it come from? I don't even know what it is. Where does it come from? <laughs> the jungle or like something. Like roots and stuff? Yeah. Roots and you got to have a shaman. And yeah. I don't yeah. trust any dude who's a shaman because I went to college. So like every every shaman, I'm like, okay. <laughs> right. What, did, what does your dad say about you being a shaman? <laughs> right. Tom did it. I maybe I don't know if he's told this or not, but Tom did it mm-hmm. at like a Four Seasons. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, private the Four Seasons one. version. Yeah. He did a private ayahuasca ceremony. Okay. Yeah. The best part of this story. I don't know if Tom's told this or not. I'm sorry, Tom, but he does it. He gets done, and the guy's like, "Are you good?" And Tom's like, "I'm pretty good." No, <laughs> and he's like, "Okay." So Tom's like, "I'm gonna go out back. I'm gonna have a cigarette, yeah. and and maybe have a drink, and you know, assess my day." <laughs> and I said, "Were you still tripping?" He goes. Either I was sober and wolves were chasing me, ah. <laughs> or there are wolves. <laughs> or I was the Four Iowa Seasons. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Four so Seasons weird. in Austin. Yeah, but yeah, he had, he had like I've heard people. Paulie did it, and he had a crazy experience. People that do it. Here's the thing that people that do it aren't like drug users usually. They're like people yeah. that are looking mm. for something. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm looking for They've that. They've exhausted everything else. Yeah. Nothing yeah. else does it for them anymore. Weed still does that for me. Yeah. yeah. Like I got high in my backyard the other day, and I was like. I was very high, and I was like, 
hey, these trees are mine. <laughs> that's such a weird thought. Yeah, these are my trees. These are my trees, <laughs> these are my trees. and they yeah. weren't yeah. planted with m- me owning. Right. Like no yeah. one thought right, right. Yeah, yeah, Bert's yeah. gonna love this in eighty mm-hmm. years. Right, right, right. But now they're mine, and they're not mine forever. Mm-hmm. Someone else is gonna have these trees, and I hope they remember me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I went out and hugged every tree and thanked yeah. them for being there. Yeah, wow. that's very hot. He was yeah. on the good this. stuff. Wow, that's hot. That's teaching Tom's weed for you. All right, yep. Bert Kreischer's here. A couple <laughs> more random questions. Is it true that you believe Amelia Earhart is overrated? Yes. 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 I also believe Stevie Wonder's not blind. Okay. Yeah. Well, you believe a, that. I have a lot of yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because you, you stick your hand out to him, he catches it every <laughs> yeah. time. All right. So, uh, like, so what about Amelia uh, Earhart is overrated? She crashed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but then also yeah, there was the, the other pilot you were shouting out. There was another woman. Yeah, another woman flew from UK to Australia. How's their pie? She's mm-hmm. dead. She's crashed too. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. They all crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Something about a woman in the air doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, Ravy? Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> all right, uh, and. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I don't know what I was going to make a <laughs> Caitlin Clark joke. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, um, what, what, what was the other one? You said you have a lot of thoughts. So Amelia Earhart's overrated. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And then uh, you oh. said you got a bunch of other opinions. Oh, I have I have millions of crazy wild opinions. Okay. Like I, I can't even say them because there's that they're mm-hmm. that aggressive. Okay. Well, well, give, me, give, me one, one where... give me one more example. I met a Capital Stormer. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. Okay, like, a, like an insurrectionist. Yeah, insurre- or an American, yeah, yeah. American, whatever you want to call it. Right, sure. And so, <laughs> but it's so funny. I met, I met one. I've never met one. Uh-huh. And they're not done storming the Capitol. Like, they haven't changed their opinion. Oh, no, 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 not at all. And I was like, oh, we needed to exile these people. <laughs> we should have exiled all of them, just to the middle of the country. Just put them in, like, in like Ruby Ridge. Yeah. yeah and, yeah. yeah, set them up there. There's but plenty yeah. of room in Wyoming. When yeah. you look at any any revolution, they yeah. all, everyone, Lenin stormed the Capitol. Mm-hmm. And you know what? He had tried to do it before, and they didn't. You know who else did it? Hitler mm-hmm. stormed the Capitol. And you know what they did to Hitler? Just push him on timeout for a second. They show up again. They show up. Yeah. You better be ready for those guys. They're coming. Yeah. We got an election coming. Harder and stronger. All right, then why do you have a beef with the Ferrari movie? Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. See, these are all like kind of random questions that yeah, wouldn't right. have like woven okay. well into some of the other conversations yeah. we've had so far. So, yeah. okay. I'm all about inclusion. <laughs> yeah. Okay? If you're going to have a movie about a trans woman, hire a trans woman to play that trans woman. I agree. If I, by the way, I get really into the weeds on this. I don't like. I don't like when they hire black dudes with British accents to play black American dudes. I don't like that. Okay. It rubs me wrong. <laughs> Martin Luther King. I don't want to. Screw you, <laughs> Daniel Kaluuya. I don't like that. I don't like it. There's okay. a lot of black guys that That's can talk fair. like. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you're going to make a movie about a a, a race hero yeah. and his wife, you better make her as ugly as she was in real life. <laughs> she looked like a foot. She was so unattractive. And yet they bring in Sofia Vergara. Who do they bring in? Oh, Penelope uh, Cruz. Penelope yeah. Cruz? Who's cheating on Penelope Cruz? The whole movie. I'm like, why would he cheat? Go back to Penelope Cruz. Yeah. The other girl yeah. looked like a seven. For real. Yeah. For real. His mistress looked like a seven. And you have Penelope Cruz <laughs> running your business, yeah. loving you, trying to understand why you lost your son and how you dealt with it. I'm here for you. Yeah. And then you see a picture of her and you're like, oh, I know I cheated. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> she looked like Joe Pesci. Like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. And dude, and his mistress was smoking hot. The real life. Smoking Smoking hot, yeah. he banged tens on the red. Yeah. On the red. Yeah. And you can expect that out of a man who made that beautiful car. Yeah. 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 Who <laughs> makes that beautiful car and is dating? But then you meet his wife. You're like, oh, uh-huh. he wanted beauty in his life. He was married mm-hmm. to this, this, this monster. Foot. Yeah, yeah, this foot. Yeah, this foot. This yeah. foot. Yeah. And then you see all the chicks he banged. Tens. Oh. Oh, yeah. You know he wow. banged all his race car drivers' girlfriends too. Yeah. Wow. Like he, Ferrari oh was a gangster. Yeah. Wow. Nonstop. He was banging. getting it. Yeah. And uh, one last thing here before we let you go. I was told to ask you uh, about a custom sandwich that you bought from Joe Rogan. A custom sandwich? That you bought for Joe Rogan. That I, I don't remember. Tell me. Lead me into it. Who's I, that, that naked guy that made the, that made the oh, sandwich? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, you, that's a misleading question. Oh. Okay. No, well, I was told to ask you that question. That's Specifically, what, yeah. I was no, told no. to ask you that question. I don't know what any of this is about. So you me can, neither. This is, this is all new information to me. There's a guy Apparently, on- Menace <laughs> knows something about it. There's a guy online. Okay. Who, for the right price, and by the way, very low price point, will get naked, <laughs> defecate onto a piece of bread, oh. cover it, <laughs> and then he will then proceed to uh, enjoy his own meal. 
Really? <laughs> we found this guy. What? Yeah. Me and Tom. How much does that cost? Like 80 bucks. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Where bucks. do you find this guy? Oh, we online. want to find him. That's online. worse than the guy that we saw in Vegas that you can kick him in the nuts like full, as Way hard worse. as you can. Yeah. 20 right. bucks. I did yeah. that one time with a professional punter, and they gave me this strap that you could put on your feet that, <laughs> yeah. rode, that rode your inseam, so right. that when he kicked, he hit the strap. He didn't hit your junk. Right. Mm -hmm. But when he went to kick me, I squatted down, oh. and I took the tension out of it, and he oh. kicked me in the junk, oh. and I went, down, I went down so hard. <laughs> oh, my God. No, we bought this for Joe. Joe's never really mentioned it, which is <laughs> odd. You'd think he would, it would have come yeah. across his plate. but uh, Literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> But yeah, 80 bucks, this guy will do it. You can find his name. I, it, we have him on Two Bears, Yeah, and it is. I mean, I, there's a lot of people doing a lot of wild stuff. There's girls that are farting bottles. Oh, so yeah. 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 There was a whole thing about, we talked about it before, cake farts. Right, yeah. Like farting hot chicks, cakes. Mm, squatting over cakes and just farting, just farting on them. On it. Yeah. And then there's video, you can buy the videos, but also like they'll... They'll do it like uh, they'll do it for somebody. I'm like, I'm then they'll to get send you the cake. That. No, yeah. I'm afraid to get into that. You couldn't get into that. I remember seeing pregnant chicks in porn one time, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, well, I can't wait to get someone pregnant. <laughs> this is so primal. And then my wife's like, well, when she got pregnant, she's like, you know, we have to do this a certain way. I was like, don't worry, I know how to do it. Yeah. Oh, I got that. <laughs> Roll over in your side. I know what we're doing. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, man. dude, always great to see you. I love you guys. Uh, Bert Kreischer, everybody, on uh, social media, at <laughs> Bert Kreischer. I'll spell it. K-R-E-I-S-C-H-E-R. -E -E also, BertBertBert.com for uh, tickets to, I mean, he's got the summer tour, Tops Off World Tour, Netflix is a joke, comedy special. There's the uh, the vodka, uh, Por Osos, which uh, you can go. I'm sure, do you have the information on the website? Like, where can you get it? I have no idea. You have no <laughs> idea. Okay, well, that's not great for promotion. Uh, you can get it at right, uh, Total yeah, yeah. Wine. You can get it, we, have a, we have a deal with Total Wine. Later they're, on they're today. At, at, uh, in all the Austin, all the Texas. It's, it's wide in Texas. Yeah, so it'll be 5 to 7 p.m. Total Wine today in Austin. If, you, if you're listening on 101X, go see the guys over there. And then uh, the Netflix special. Which Netflix, kind of, Netflix special I shoot July 6th, 7th, and 8th. Okay. Uh, and then, and then in, the, in the Two Bears 5K. Two Bears 5K is May 5th. Yep. I got the Forum May 11th. June 12th to June 30th, we have the Fully Loaded Festival. It's me and 17 comics traveling, five tour buses, hitting all outdoor venues, a couple indoor venues. It's, it's just a party. It's just an absolute party. And then uh, and then I'll take a break, and yeah. I'll be calling mm -hmm. you guys every day going, yeah. hey, guys, <laughs> can, I, can I come in studio? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, what do you have to promote? And I go, nothing. <laughs> like, come on. You know, by the way, I've told you a million times, you don't have to have anything to promote. No. You just want yeah. to come and hang. hang. Like, I would you, love you to just come and hang. You're Dude, welcome to come and hang anytime. I would love that. I love, I love hanging with you guys. Yeah. Me and you connect. We understand each other. Yeah, yeah. In, in, like a, in like a way that yeah. only do, certain dudes yeah. get each other. It's why you and Tommy would get along. You know what we should do at some point? during your break like i don't know when, whenever that would be it would work for you like either you can come over to my place i'll come over to your place whatever and then uh we'll drink yes and we'll just chat uh gossip yeah, <laughs> not, yeah just, just just general like because uh, the dude, hot goss yeah, yeah yeah there's nothing you know the best like a dude date can i tell you i have the best gossip in the world well, the best gossip in the world, oddly mm -hmm. enough, is Rogan. He's the funnest to gossip with. Yeah. He is the mm -hmm. best. He is the best. He would never say that. He's not, he wouldn't. Yeah, but yeah. Joe's such a fun. And if you get Joe and Tim Dillon together, <sighs> Tim Dillon is my favorite gossip in the world. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, he is so yeah. fun. He is yeah. so fun because yeah. he's so, he's, he's like, he's like, I don't mean this bad, but like, like, Cruel in the funniest way. Mm -hmm. Like Tim really mm -hmm. is a throwback to these guys that don't exist anymore. Yeah, just old school, smart as crap, knows everything. Yeah, he's the smartest guy in real estate, in comedy, and podcasting. But man, the best is you get done to a podcast with him. You walk into his car right. and he opens the door and he goes, "You got a second? And shuts his door and you're uh. like, "Ah, <laughs> tell me a story about Whitney Cummings." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bert Kreischer, yeah. everybody. Yeah, we got some more Woody show coming up for you next. Hang on.